The backbone of advanced navigation is really, we take an AI approach to all of our products from inertial navigation to our subsea robotics. And that is really having a machine learning and an AI approach to, to the product. It enables us to really work faster and smaller than some of our competitors. This is Hydrus. Hydrus is a micro drone autonomous underwater vehicle. The real main payload being the camera and position on board. So think of being able to go down and do get photo imagery, but also have position and really be done by one person. So the ability to really have one person on a large team and have a small vehicle go down and do photo imagery of a target of interest or some shipwreck or any bottom topography is really where Hydrus is there. It really just takes one person without any formal training or, or any uh, technology background to go do this without a, a large team and really uh, it reduces the cost that the maritime technology normally, uh, normally impacts. Really Hydrus is the ability to not have a tether and get stuck in, in tough environments, it can go go further and deeper. And it also has a hubless thruster design, so it's not gonna get caught in seaweed or fishing line or anything along those lines. And its ability to to have six ways of freedom with the thruster design, so it can it can move horizontally, vertically, it can do under under hull inspection, those type of things is really where Hydrus is really impressive and, and be able to do multiple movements opposed to the standard one pathway that a normal UUV would do. The ability for it to not be tethered at all encompass, it, it has a bunch of more sensors on board as well than a normal standard undersea drone would, right? Where it has a DVL and a sonar system to really help you map out and, and give position as well as the INS on board with our AI enables it to really do a photo imagery opposed to a static scenario that some other competitors may do. Our intuitive mission planning is, is really web-based and really simple to operate even if you've never done this type of scenario before. So with, with just setting up your mission plan, getting a, a good position and doing all that, you can deploy this system within under 30 minutes. You can preset your status point. So if, if you have a failure, it will come to back to the home point or if the mission is completed, it will come back to the home point. So there, there's set status for it to come back to its home ship or to its last known location. So then you can retrieve it and offload the data. A quick, easy, simple uh, mission for Hydrus is you've identified uh, you know, a shipwreck per se that you wanna go down and look at. You go into our, our really simple mission planner and you'll map that out, whether you wanna just, let's, let's just call it a mow the grass scenario, a back and forth run rate. You'll set an altitude for that for the Hydrus that we go down and, and, and completely map that area and then return back to you with no issues. So the Navy's interested in numerous needs uh, that is, you know, doing, going down and doing, you know, inner harbor inspection, bridge inspection and dock inspection, as well as special forces are looking to employ this, uh, you know, overseas and, and, and really putting a vehicle in place of, of personnel to go look over the horizon and not put personnel in, in danger.